Monday afternoon in the big sky. Bob McGuire with you here in the Q2 weather center. And as you can see, we have mostly cloudy skies in the Billings area. We've been caught up on those clouds. We've got a few sun breaks as well, and that's allowing the temperature, look at that, to cook up to 56 degrees. That's right, 56 degrees. Winds out of the southwest at 18 miles per hour. Around the rest of the state, temps are mostly into the 40s and 50s. And a few places like Sheridan and Billings, we're getting very close to 60 degrees at this hour. You'll notice we do have this, though, starting tomorrow at 6 p.m., going to Wednesday, 3 p.m., a winter weather advisory for the Billings area and much of the Beartooth foothills. Looking for snow, maybe three to five inches of snow in those areas. Now, right now, the Doppler radar shows scattered rain and snow showers moving into west central Montana all the way up towards the northwest by Kalispell. Just some cloudy skies rolling over the Beartooths right now. But our high resolution forecast model shows those scattered rain and snow showers will continue to move a little bit farther southeast and start pushing their way into the Beartooth tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Then later on that day, on Tuesday afternoon, we'll start to see the rain showers move into the Billings area just about the same time a new cold front drops down from Canada. So by the time the cold air moves in and the moisture moves over it, we'll see scattered snow showers by 10 p.m. on Tuesday. Snow showers continue off and on throughout the Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, most of the snow starts moving over into eastern Montana. Temperature-wise for us, it'll be uh, 60 degrees next hour, cooling back down into the 30s in the morning, 45 degrees about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll actually top out at 48 on Tuesday, down to 42 on Wednesday, and work our way back up to 59 degrees by the time the end of this weekend gets here. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at KTVQ.com.